Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Eric Killmonger figure. So before we take a look at Killmonger, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up, um, I mistakenly said that this came with the, uh, the, Black the Black Panther figure I previously reviewed. It does not. It comes with uh, Killmonger. Um, he comes with M'Baku's staff in the head. That was an error on my part. So, yes, that accessory does not come with <laughs> Black Panther. But that head looks really, really awesome. Hasbro just keeps improving with these head sculpts. Like, uh, the, the first waves that used the face printing tech. Which wave was it? Was it, was it Thor Ragnarok? I want to say Thor Ragnarok was the first with the, uh, or no, the, uh, the Netflix Man Thing wave. I think that was the first one. You can tell that Hasbro has definitely improved over that in these future waves with that face print technology. I do see a place there. Must have just been a piece of dirt or something on his nose there. But yep, that looks really good. Um, Killmonger comes with actual weapons. He comes with his pistol right here. And that's that's my complaint with all of his accessories. Is they have a lot of sculpt detail to them, but no paint detail. They're just cast in that black collar. And I'll get into another problem in a second. Um... You can't hold the pistol really nicely, it's not going to fall out of his hand, it's really snug. But, this holster on his belt is just all one piece. It's just this rubbery piece that has the gun already sculpted in it. So that's pretty irritating because, to, I, I'm pretty sure he only has one handgun. So it, it doesn't really make sense to have this in his hand and have this right here. So that's really irritating that you can't put the gun in the holster. And that's already just cast like that. That irritates me really bad. So, up next, he comes with his uh, machine gun. We have seen this before. It was with Punisher. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been used a couple times. I'm pretty sure it's not just Punisher. But this is a reuse. And it doesn't... It has some sculpt detail, but has no paint detail whatsoever. And finally, he comes with his tribal mask here. And I love this. It looks really, really nice. I like how they put the red on there. That's using that face printing tech. So all the paint apps right here, except for on the, the hair, I guess that's what you'd call it, the hair, um, is using that face print tech. Now, this does look good, but on the back, there's no paint detail to it at all. It's, it's just that gray color. So that is a bummer. Now, I was trying to figure out how this, before I got the figure, um, how this would fit on his face. But you just kind of poured it on there, and it goes over his chin like that. And it stays on there. I was really surprised at how it stays on there well. Uh, hold on here. Let me scoot it down a little bit. There. Now you can see his eyes through it. So yeah, this looks really cool. Really cool. I think that it could have done with a little bit of paint shading right here. But that's not, not a huge gripe. And it stays on really well. It just kind of clamps over his face right there. And you can shake it. And it won't fall off. So I thought that was really cool how Hasbro did that. Because I thought it might have like a, a plastic strap on it or something like that to keep it on. But nope, it doesn't need it. So now I'm going to take this off so we can look at his head sculpt. Now the unmasked Eric Killmonger head sculpt looks really, really awesome. Hasbro did another great job with this head sculpt. Like the sculpting of the hair looks really good. Um, I do feel like they could have integrated that right there just a little bit better because it does stick up from his head because it's a separate piece. But, I mean, if you have it like that, you really won't notice it. But yeah, that likeness is really good. Now, if you notice, his neck, it's uh, the skin tone is painted on because it's an entirely different color. Like, it's a lot lighter and then kind of fades to this white color. Like, it's like a stress mark on the plastic. So, I don't know if that's just mine because this is the only one I've seen. I My stores just recently started getting this wave in. So, this is the only Killmonger I've seen. So, I don't know if that's like a common issue or not. But that does look kind of weird how it does fade into that really white plastic right there. Now, the gear on his torso, the armor here, looks really nice. It uses that printing too. If you... Look really closely if it focuses it. You can see that it uses that print tech. 
but it looks really good like that. Like, it almost makes it look kind of shiny from, from far back. It almost looks shiny, like it's, like it has some scratches in it too, but it's just that printing tech that makes it look that way. And then he has that on the back too. I think it looks a little bit better on the back because you do have some sculpted dents. You have a little bit of places where there's no paint. That's intentional. It's, made, it's supposed to look worn. So I feel like they could have used a little more of the, the wearing, or not wearing, weathering on his torso right here. But overall, it looks pretty nice. And the straps have a little bit of texturing to them. But here, here is my issue. Now his belt, the buckle, is painted on. But the grenades, they're just cast in that green collar. Um, actually, I think that's painted on. Yeah, the green's painted on. No detail to them. No detail, paint detail to his gun. No paint detail to his knife back here. And it's really soft and goes against his torso. So it's the handle's constantly bent like that. No paint detail to the ammo clips right here. And no paint detail to this grenade. So that really sucks. Like, it's just cast in black. It just looks really fake. Like, um, it kind of reminds me of a dollar store toy. How all the dollar store toys, uh, like, that have, like, the army men. All their weapons are cast completely in black with no paint detail whatsoever. And that's what this reminds me of. I do not like that at all. Which, I can paint it, but I feel like I shouldn't have to. I feel like Hasbro should have painted that on there. It's just like his, uh, watch right here. Um, Luke Cage's was at least done in a silver collar. I don't think there was anything uh, on it. I don't think it told the time on it. I think that was just left blank. But this is just cast in black color too. No paint detail whatsoever. They could have done like his uh, chest armor right here. They could have just used the print tech to, to print something on here. That would have looked nice. But they did not. So that is, that's pretty irritating. And right here, um, this reuses Crossbone's uh, leg strap with the ammo clips. And it has just a little bit of a little bit of green, but the clips themselves don't have any detail. And his lower torso here is a reuse of Punishers. And I feel like that was a pretty smart move. It's done in the uh, that camo. It's well, it's cast in the brown, and then the green's painted over it. And then there's boots. Now I don't mind them being all black. Like that doesn't bother me. But with his weapons, they should have a little bit of something to them. Um. I'm also thinking that his arms are a reuse. I'm not 100% certain, but I want to say these arms are a reuse from something. I know the torso and the head's new. Well, I mean the head's been reused for the uh, Target 2-pack one. But I'm pretty sure these were reused. They might not have been. I, I might be crazy. <laughs> so uh, now let's get into his articulation. So he has a ball-jointed head that can look all the way back. And he can look down just a little bit. His chin does get in the way of looking down all the way. And he can move his head side to side. He has ball jointed shoulders that can move out. Hold on here. They can move out all the way. He has swivel at the thigh, double jointed elbow, swivel at the wrist that can move side to side and up and down. He has an ab crunch that can move back, back, far and down all the way. He has swivel at the waist that can move side to side. He has ball jointed hips that can just about do a complete split. He can kick forward all the way. He can kick back just a little bit. He has swivel at the thigh. Double jointed knee that's pretty crunchy. You do have to put some force into it. And he has swivel ankle that can move up and down. And an ankle rocker. So if you have the uh, Netflix Punisher figure, you're probably uh, familiar with the articulation of the lower torso at least. And the articulation in the arms is really good because while I was posing him around, I could get him into this kind of a pose. Let me... Get him posed here. So I could actually get him looking through the scope of that and aiming. And that that is really awesome. Wait here. I have his neck kind of angled. There. That looks a little more natural. But he can look through the scope of it. You know, like someone would, would actually be shooting this. So that's really cool. Usually with the figures that have guns, you really can't get them in a really cool pose like that. Like, uh, hold on here. I can probably get it a little closer to him. I am doing this through the camera, so that's why it's not exactly accurate. But, you know, for the most part, you can do that. And I think that's really cool. So now let's do some size comparisons here. So for some size comparisons, 
Here he is next to the previous, uh, the Black Panther Wave 1 Killmonger figure. And this is in the Golden Jaguar suit. And it is just a little bit shorter than Killmonger. I feel like they should at least be the same height, or maybe this one should just be a little taller since he is in the suit. So the height difference isn't perfect, but I mean, it's not really bad. And then here he is, next to Black Panther himself. And again, I feel like he's a little too tall. Like, maybe he should be the same height as Black Panther, and the same height as the, the Killmonger in the Golden Jaguar suit. But it's not a huge problem. So overall, I would highly recommend this figure. I think it is really good. I just feel like it could have done with some paint detail on like the ammo clips right here and on the belt and the weapons. With them using the uh, print tech on his armor right here instead of painting that on, I wish Hasbro would start using the uh, print tech for the guns right here. I think that would be really good. Just do like a, a gunmetal print over it with like some scratches and stuff, like some, some uh, dents and stuff. I don't know. I think that would be really good. I think that's a way that they could improve their figures and the weapons and stuff. Oh, before I end this review, let's go ahead and put this back on Killmonger. Okay, so that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.